So welcome to lab 9 view model. So till now I have been talking about this MVC concept and I have only stressed three sections that is model, view and controller. But in reality there is one more important entity or an important section without which any professional MVC project cannot be completed and that is view model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over this mic for 10 minutes to Mr. Sukesh Marla who is my friend and as well as, as well as he is a very expert guy in MVC who will explain you this concept with a small demonstration. Welcome everyone. Model, view and controller. These are the three major components of any ASP.NET MVC application. But is it enough? I personally believe there should be one more layer between our view and model. We call it view model. In this video we will understand the importance of view model and then we will see how we can implement view model in the MVC application. Now I think you are already familiar with basic MVC request flow. Basically request will be made to the controller, controller get the model data, it, then controller choose the appropriate view, then controller bind that model data to the view and finally controller will send back the response as the view to the end user. Now, after having the clear picture about each component of MVC, three questions which may arise in your mind are, where should I put my presentation logic? Where should I put my data transformation logic? And how to create a strongly typed view of multiple models? Now, in order to answer these questions and in order to understand view model well, First, let's have a small demonstration and let's try to understand the problem statement well. We have a simple razor view over here. Let's open it. As you can see, it's a strongly typed view of type employee. In the top, we are just getting the current user from the view back. Why so? Because we will not be able to create a view which will be a strongly typed view of two models. At, at a time, we can create a view which will be strongly typed view of either employee or it will be a strongly typed view of user. We cannot create a view which will be strongly typed view of both employee and user at a time. So what we are doing is we are getting current user from the view back and then we are displaying it here. Just below it, we are displaying the employee data which we will get from the model. We are displaying the employee name as it is. We are displaying the address as it is. But instead of date of birth, we are writing some logic. We are calculating age and finally we are displaying age here. This is we call it as data transformation logic. Okay. So we are writing our data transformation logic in the view itself. Let's move further. As you can see, we are writing a if condition and checking for the salary. If the salary is greater than 20,000, we are displaying it in a red color. When it is not greater than 20,000, that means it is less than 20,000 or equal to 20,000, we are displaying the salary in green color. We call it as presentation logic. If condition is this, display it like this. If condition is that, display like that. We call it presentation logic. Now, as you can see, we have written our data transformation logic. We have written our presentation logic in the view itself. Now let's execute the application and check the output. Press F5. Let's put the controller name and the action name in the URL. Press enter. As you can see, here we have the current logged in user. Here we have the age and here we have the salary with red color. Now let's go to the controller and let's do some modification. Let's stop this application. And what I'll do is I'll just make my date of birth as 1988. I'll pass the salary as 15,000. Just notice here that the current username or the current logged in user is correspond subscriber. And we are passing the current logged in user as view back, view back and we are getting it here in the view back only. Now let's execute it and let's check the output again. Let's re-execute the last URL. As you can see, the age get changed to 25 and salary is displayed in green color now. Okay. If we are getting everything as per our expectation, then what is the problem? The problem is 
view is specifically meant for design a ui and we are writing some kind of data transformation logic and business uh, sorry presentation logic here when we say logic logic just doesn't mean business logic logic means business logic presentation logic and data transformation logic and view should be completely decoupled with this kind of logic and that's where view model comes to picture which answers for all three of our questions first how to make a strongly type view of multiple models right now we are using view data for transferring our second model but with the help of view model we can we will be able to create a strongly type view of multiple models second view model will be the place where we will write our data transformation logic and third view model will be the place where we will write our presentation logic now i think you understood the importance of view model now let's learn how to implement it for that first go to this models folder right click add new class create a simple class called as employee view model or for simplicity let's make it let's say employee vm vm let's say add it's here next simply go and create a property of type employee and say emp enter next create simply a property of type user i will call it user get semi colon set are we done no next simply create a age property here i will say prop int age enter it will be a read only property so let me remove this set part first and then we'll write something inside this get for get property what we will do let's go to the view let's copy this logic from here and let's paste it here and what next we have to say instead of this model dot date of birth dot year we will say emp dot date of birth dot year emp dot date of birth that means inside this property we will be having access to the above properties correct so we will use these properties and what next we will simply say return age done correct next we will simply go and create one more property we call it as string property i will say color or whatever you want okay i will say salary color i will say get and next we'll go to our show.chhtml just copy this code let's paste it here and i will say instead of this model i will say emp.salary and i will say just return red and here just return green done what next next we'll go to our view what we will do is instead of employee we will put employee vm here now our view is a strongly type view of our view model not model okay just remember one thing view model is not a syntactic word it's a logical word okay we are just using our logic in order to solve the view problem okay the problem which we discussed earlier create a view with multiple models the uh, data transformation logic and the presentation logic okay we are just writing some logic and solving the problem okay so what we did we we made our view a strongly type view of employee view model what next we will not require to use this Uh, view data stuff here what we will do is we will simply say at the rate model dot it is user dot username next what we will do we will say at the rate model dot employee name we will just change it to employee dot employee name we will say model dot employee dot address and we will sorry employee dot 
address and finally we will remove these stops from here and we will simply write at the rate model dot h and here we will remove these stops from here and we will simply write at the rate model dot salary color done isn't it simple what next next we'll again go to our employee class sorry employee view model class and we will create a constructor over here just to make code simpler what i'll do is i'll say employee e1 comma user u2 and we will say employee equal to e1 comma user equal to u2 we are just storing this local variables in this global variables next go to the controller here we will just remove this view back and we will create object of user class first and then what we will do is we will create object of employee view model evm equal to new employee view model take this employee take this user and give me the view model and i will just pass this evm instead of employee now let's execute the application and let's check the output let's press f5 let's put the proper url that is employee slash show oops there is an error okay the error is just close it just go to our view again okay the error is the model right now the model is employee vm right so we don't have the definition for salary what we should do is we should say model dot employee dot salary correct now let's execute the application and let's check the output let's say employee show see here we are getting the output here we have the current logged in user here we have the age here we have the salary with green color let's close it let's go to controller let's do couple of changes let's make it 1987 again let's make it 25000 again and let's check the output okay let's put the url okay okay 25000 okay it's 2500 it became 2500 correct that's why it is showing in green color so let's go and make it 25000 and let's execute the application let's put the url we are expecting okay as you can see we are getting salary in red color now if you check the view it is simple it is just design no data transformation logic no presentation logic and for multiple model we are just using the view model right so this is how we will implement view model in our asp.net mvc application hope you understood it hope you enjoyed it if you have any query what you can do is you can mail your queries to questpond@questpond.com and we will definitely reply to that thank you very much